Hello everyone. Say that one more time, Zoe. Hello everyone. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Thank you, Brent, for being here. Happy to be here. You already know, guys, because you saw the title. This is a language challenge. Let's go. Who will win? Probably you, because uh, your English is better than my Italian. That's so not true. Brian's grammar is so good. Her vocabulary and grammar is so good. Let's just find out. Let's just do this. Let's just find out. We, we cannot look. Wait, were you just looking at my words? That no. was literally sitting right here for you to no, see. No, I didn't see anything at all. We so, can't confirm that because I wasn't here. My words were just sitting here. Do you have the translation written on that? The oh. English translation? No. So I won't know anyways. So you did look. No, I didn't. She looked. No. This challenge is divided into four categories. Number one, just random words. Translating the words, vocabulary. Second category, conjugations. Number three, pronunciation. And number four, idioms. Let's start. I just want to say that since we couldn't talk, I couldn't tell Brian the things that I picked, I am afraid that there will be a little discrepancy. 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 That's already minus one. Between the words that you picked and Evaluate the words that I Evaluate the difficulty yourself. We had to find the right amount of difficulty. We're both pretty yeah. good at the other's language. That's, That's that. Right. Let's begin. You give me a word in English, I have to say right. it in Italian. Hi. My first word is... Liver. Liver is a fegato. Yes. No cool. time wasted. My first word for you is pozzanghera. Pozzanghera is a. So. There's no like reasoning. You just. Do you know? No, no, it? no. I know the word. I just can't remember which vowel, the perfect vowel it is. It's not poodle. It's not paddle. What's your final answer? Puddle. You're correct. Yay. Next is ruler the thing you use is ruler is a misurino that's not a misurino the the one that you use in school ruler is a stecchino no I don't know. i've heard it for sure but i don't remember that's a righello oh when i've gotten that maybe i don't even know righello it just gets more difficult for me it's like all right next is rubinetto oh rubinetto is faucet wow nice number three for me is hawk the animal. Hawk? Would that just be a falco? Very good! Oh my god! Ooh. My next word is corazza. Corazza. Yes, thank you Call of Duty. Armor. Ding! Last one for me for this section is kind of hard. How do you say wetsuit? It's not a literal translation. <sighs> I've never been in a context where I've had to use the word wetsuit. So not even on Call of Duty? You don't use wetsuits? No, there's no swimming in Call of Duty. Abito bagnato. Muta. Si, va bene. Last one, it's a verb. Trasgredire, trasgredire. I'm thinking about a lot of different translations. I'm flexible with the proper correct answer. I'm thinking about trespass. Think That's correct. Trespass? Trespass, trespassing. Two to four. You got all of mine. What do you know? Sony's vocabulary is amazing. I'm not surprised. Okay, next. Now, we said conjugation. Yep, I started this time. Oh yeah. my god, I think this one is hard so to So when English. I want to know the three, the table. The go, went, gone. gone. The verb is hold. <laughs> hold, held, held. Was that too easy? Yes. I want to know the passato remoto. Voi andare. Andaste. Good. Was it too easy? No, it wasn't too easy. I'm just a beast. Andaste. Well, I picked andare. All right. Okay. The next verb is dig. Uh, As in scavare. Dig, dug, dug. Are you sure? Digged, dug. I don't know. Dug is also a name. I digged. I dug. Six. I don't know. Five, three. Dug. What's the three? Dig, dug, dug. You are correct. Really? He said it at the start, but I wanted to tricky so i was like are you sure but i want to give you another one because you said it hold held held was too easy and that it was too easy all right next <laughs> you're still perfect through my test i've okay. gone too easy on you but maybe i'm very good the participio passato of splendere oh my god i know you're looking for me to say splezo but i don't think that's it is it splenduto is it splendido is it like something strange like spleto or something <laughs> It can't be splezo because it's spendere. I'm thinking of spendere, so I'm gonna go with splenduto. Good, it's regular. 
It's <laughs> about bees. Okay, next is pronunciation. Ah! So I know that you know this word, but how do you say wishes in Italian? The one that starts with D. Yes. Desideri, 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 desideri. Two desideri. So you have desideri. Yes, desideri. Ah, I just have to think about it. Two desideri. No, the camera's about to die. They're back. Okay. Okay. All right. How do you say this word? How do you pronounce this word in English? Mm. It's a military like yes. service officer. Colonel. Colonel. <laughs> it's a. Uh... Oh crap! Now I'm confusing myself. That's... Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god! I just lost it in my own mind. Colonel. 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 There's Colonel. no, this L is actually pronounced as an R. Colonel. 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 Colonel Sanders. I would have R. never guessed Colonel. Exactly, that's why I chose that word. <laughs> I picked... As in get rid of that. Liberatene. 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 It's a Liberatene. bisrucciola. How do you say comodo in English? Comfortable. Comfortable. That's correct. It's not pronounced how it's spelled. It's spelled like comfortable, but it's pronounced comfter. The comfortable. R comes after the T. Seven, Seven six. six. Yes. It's all gonna come down to the idioms. Yes. You always choose the hardest idioms, so I already know I'm screwed. Su questo non ci piove. What does it mean? Su questo non ci piove. Is this international Italian or just Roman? International idiom. Not really international, but... I mean, no, yeah. In this thing or in this regard, it doesn't hurt us. It doesn't affect us negatively. Uh, it means like, this is obviously true. This is the truth, the reality. Like, that's for sure. Ah, su questo non ci piove. That's for sure. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Su questo non ci piove. Have you heard of it? No. <laughs> what? Does it mean if I'm talking to you and I say, yep, you hit the nail on the head. You hit oh. the nail on the head. It's like you were really precise in your observation. Like you really know what I wanted to say. When you say you know, you know what, what I, mean? I want to say, like you understood me perfectly. Or like you said something that extremely, a good response, like a perfect response. Hmm. I feel like you're close, it's but... It's like the, I colto in pieno. It just means, yes, yeah, so I'll give you the point because I think you are exactly right. Like, you got the point. Like, you hit the I nail. I got to in piano. Yeah, that's definitely, I'll give you the point. Oh, thank you. So, ci sono rimasta di sasso. I remained of stone. You were shocked. You were stone cold. You're yeah. like utterly you knew surprised. This no. Oh, good. Just intuition. Yeah. Last one. I want it. Are you gonna win by one point or are you gonna win by two points? What does it mean when something is up for grabs? It's like, if you want it, you can take it. I don't think that's exactly the right thing. So like, if there's a chicken in the fridge, I would, the chicken's up for grabs. Up for grabs. It's like, it's still available. It's still like, or even like, to be determined. Say there was a ten thousand huh. dollar prize for this game. At the beginning of the game, they could be like the ten thousand dollar prize is still up for grabs. So it's a little different. It's not like if you want it, you can have it. It's like it basically just means like available. it's available. Yeah. I win by one. Uh, now that you already won the game, you're happy to give up the point. Right. Yes, exactly. Anyways. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you. You were really, really good, and I'm so happy that I won. And now I will never forget Cornell. Colonel. Colonel. Cornell is the university. Yeah, Cornell. I was like, well, that's the university, Cornell. Colonel. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment below. Does and this mean I got time. second place? Yes. That's not bad. You're so good. Silver. <laughs> Bye. Peace out.